Hi, I'm Dr. Crystal, and welcome to Ask the Doctor. Today, we're going to talk about a silent but detrimental condition that might be threatening your health at this very moment, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD. About a third of Americans have NAFLD, but many are unaware they have it. Over time, NAFLD can progress to more severe conditions like non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, also known as NASH, and cirrhosis. The good news is that dietary and lifestyle changes can often halt and even reverse NAFLD progression. In this video, we're going to examine the development of NAFLD and some specific dietary and lifestyle changes that can counter its progression. But first, remember to hit the subscribe button, click thumbs up, and ring the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Now let's get started. NAFLD is the most common chronic liver disorder. It's characterized by fat accumulation in the liver in people who drink little or no alcohol. The condition causes no symptoms at first. That's why many people don't know that NAFLD is harming their liver. Fortunately, in early stages, it's reversible. Suboptimal metabolic health contributes to fat buildup in the liver over time. For example, Insulin resistance, which leads to impaired fat metabolism, is a key driver of NAFLD. Insulin resistance is generally associated with excessive consumption of processed carbohydrates, sugars like fructose and glucose, and saturated fats. In NAFLD, the liver produces fat from excess sugar, causing fat to build up in liver cells. Insulin resistance also increases the amount of free fats delivered to the liver as a result of excessive breakdown of fat tissue. Insulin resistance usually occurs in people who are overweight or obese, but normal weight individuals can be insulin resistant too. In fact, even lean people can develop NAFLD if they become insulin resistant as a result of excessive consumption of processed carbs and sugars. Losing weight, even in those with normal BMIs, can halt and reverse liver fat accumulation in NAFLD. Mind you, we're not encouraging being underweight, but losing about 10% of body weight may halt or reverse NAFLD. In addition to generally limiting caloric intake, focusing on reducing consumption of processed carbohydrates and sugars is important. Intermittent fasting is another dietary strategy that may help improve NAFLD. However, more research is needed to determine if intermittent fasting is superior to weight loss achieved by other dietary strategies in the context of NAFLD. Exercise is also important. In fact, exercise may improve NAFLD even in the absence of weight loss. One study found that eight weeks of resistance training led to a 13% reduction in liver fat among previously sedentary adults with NAFLD, even if they didn't lose weight. Getting enough sleep may also help reduce the risk of NAFLD. The available evidence suggests an approach emphasizing a healthy diet, weight loss, adequate sleep, and exercise is likely an effective strategy for halting or reversing NAFLD in most people. Now that you're aware that NAFLD is a common, potentially dangerous, yet reversible condition, you're empowered to take steps today to support your liver health and avoid potential complications of NAFLD. Now, for a more detailed overview of NAFLD and strategies to reverse the course of the disease, refer to Life Extension's non-alcoholic fatty liver disease protocol at lifeextension.com slash fatty liver. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click thumbs up, and ring the bell to be notified when we post a new video. I'm Dr. Crystal. Thanks for watching.